what is going on guys today i'm going to be taking you through some local seo strategies that you can begin applying today to begin to get higher rankings for your own business or for your clients i'm going to be going through a roofing client but you can apply these same strategies really no matter what industry you're in right um so let's dive right in guys so whenever you begin an seo campaign obviously having the right keywords is going to be you know the most important part because through the keywords is where you're going to actually write your content from and that content is going to go on your website it's going to go on your on your google my business post um, blogs right all this all this stuff related to the content is what really going to drive up your rankings and we want to make sure that we're able to properly track our keywords you know month over month to see if our optimizations are working or not um, and if they're not, we can make improvements. And if they are, then we know we're doing something right. So what I like to use is I like to use this tool called Nightwatch. Um, the reason I like this tool is because it actually updates um, every 24 hours and I'm able to see um, very accurate results. Um, so I just like to use this um, as uh, another tool, you know, in my toolbox to be able to properly track keywords and you know show my clients the results right um so you know one of our top keywords right now is hell roof repair houston so you can see this keyword right here um and then we're also ranking for a few other keywords you know here at the top in the top uh, 10 positions here all these are our keywords that we're currently on the first page for um but hell roof repair um if we take a look at the map section um, this is actually on a three mile radius. And again, this is in Houston, Texas. This is a highly competitive city in a highly competitive industry, right? This is not easy um, to get results. So, you know, three mile radius, pretty good. Um, you can see we're, we're ranking, you know, ones almost across the board. We have some twos and threes, but overall we're still doing a solid job, right? Um, so, this is a good sign for us because we know we're, you know, making the right progress. Um, so no matter what tool you're using, make sure you're keeping track of your current rankings. Um, and you can always look for new keywords um, that you could possibly rank for or improve on, right? Um, because if, you know, let's say you know you're in position five, right? Well, we, we might want to, one, check out the competitors and see what type of content they have. Maybe we need to add some more content, add some more related questions to help improve our SEO on that specific page. We can also try to get some backlinks pointing to that page. Um, you know, if you're if you're on the first page, it's really a matter of content and links at that point, right? Um, and of course, CTR um, or click through rate, um, and that's another thing that you can also work on. And there's various methods there. Um, you know, one of them is driving people from social media to your website. Um, you can use targeted local ads, whether that's on Facebook um, or various other platforms. You know, you can use Google itself, um, but obviously click, click through rate, links and content is what's ultimately going to help you push up to those top positions, right? Um, but if we go back here. Um, basically, I want to pretty much show you what I did on that specific page, uh, more so our, our hell roof repair page that we have on the client's website. Um, and this is the website right here, right? Um, and I just want to quickly go through kind of what we did. Obviously, we want to make sure that we have, you know, our, our main keyword or a keyword variation. And not only do we want to have that exact keyword, um, for an example, hell damage roof in Houston. But we also want to have variations of that keyword. For an example here, we're using roofing contractor, right? We don't just want to repeat roofing company over and over again. Google gets that the first time. We need to add related words to that page. Roof repair services, hell damage roof repair Houston. Um, then we have some more content here. Um, kind of like related questions, right? Issues that can arise from a hell damaged roof in Houston. And then we name out the related issues. Um, and that's basically um, a simple overview. We also are interlinking to our other pages that are also relevant. 
you know, all these different pages that we have for our individual services. Um, that's also very important, right? Um, not to mention we have a video embedded here straight from YouTube. Um, so that's also another powerful sign that if you guys can do, make sure you embed a YouTube video. Um, you know, what would be even better if it, this video was about hail damage repair? Um, but you work with what you got, right? So um, try to get one that's exactly related to the keyword. If not, you know, something similar will be just fine. But it's definitely going to give you that boost, right? Um, so first of all, you know, make sure you have the keywords, have related keywords. Um, what I like to do when it comes to these pages is I like to make a Google My Business post and then I have it link to each other. So let me show you. So you can check out this Google My Business post right here. So we have the keyword up in the image. Then we have, you know, the name of the company, address and the website. And then we have all this content about hell roof repair. Um, not only that, but we're also linking out to our main website, our Google My Bit, our yeah, our Google My Business with the CID link, and then the Learn More button is linking back to our hell damage page. So if I open that up, it's gonna take us back to our hell hell damage page, right? And we already know that Google My Business is directly tied to the website and it does take into consideration the content that's on your actual website so if you don't have any of this on your actual website well you can't really expect your google my business to rank for it right um, that's really not the way it works you have to be mirroring what's on the website on your google my business so the other thing that i did was i literally copied i literally copied this image right here from the actual post and I literally just pasted it in here um, using the Elementor Builder. So I literally copied and pasted that image onto this web page. And then here I interlinked to this actual Google My Business post. So this post that's about how roof repair, all I did was I clicked share posts, copy that link, and then I literally pasted in within the content and I had a keyword rich anchor text, Houston's hell damage roof, right? It's a related keyword. I linked it back to the actual Google My Business post. Another thing I like to do is I like to add related questions. So all I did was I went into Google and you can do, you know, hell roof repair Houston or you could simply do hell roof repair, right? And Google is going to give us the top questions that they think go the best with that specific keyword. So check that out. Can you repair a hail damaged roof? How much does a hail damaged roof cost? Should you replace roof after hail, etc.? I take these exact questions and I answer them within the accordion right here. So you can check that out. I added about four of the top questions that I found and I went ahead and answered them and then of course it's on the page, right? We're adding more relevancy to this page. And then we, not only that, but we interconnected the Google My Business with this specific page. So all strong ranking signals here. So that's one thing you should start doing for your service pages. If you want your Google My Business to begin ranking higher for your various services, right? We're not just ranking ranking for roof repair or a roofing company. We're actually ranking for a specific service. So if there was to happen to be a hailstorm, you know, our clients, our client here is going to be the first one they see on the map packs. And that's extremely powerful, right? Um, and that's why you want to make sure you're doing this with your various services. So this exact strategy you can do with any service that you want. Also make sure you have it mentioned on your google my business have it as a service have it as a product and then make a google my business post about it and make sure you interconnect it with the website that's very powerful guys um, and then another thing i like to do and this is just a quick tip here um, is make sure you're responding to reviews um, and i like to use conversion 
AI for this. They actually have a review responder right here. If I click on that, um, and then I go back to the Google My Business. Let's go into reviews. Um, so they got a recent review here. So what I would do is take the name of the client and under reviewer name, paste it in there, and then actually copy that. You actually copied their review. Go back here, paste it in there, and you know, star rating is five, tone, tone of voice is professional. And then it's actually going to generate a response, a professional response that we can use because you don't just want to say, you know, the worst thing you could do when responding to a review is say this. That's literally the worst thing you can do because you're not giving any information about the service that was provided. This gives you a chance to add more keywords um, and adding more content to your Google My Business. And that's what it's all about. So if I go back here, we can see it gave us these three different options here. Um, so let's choose one of these that we like here. Um, all right, let's go ahead and choose. I hope you only took photos of the work being done. Let me check this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the first one. Go ahead and copy and paste that in there. But we're not done yet. I'm gonna go back here and see where I can actually add some keywords to make this highly topically relevant to our services, right? So thank you for taking the time to review your roofing experience, Haley. We really appreciate it at Integris Roofing. I'm glad you was able to help you. You took photos of the work being done. That's a great way for our customers to see what we do and also how their property looks after we're finished with it. I'll pass on time and he knows. Thank you again. If there's anything else we can do, if there's anything else we can do, please let us know. Our team of expert roofers are ready. The next time you need us. And then I'll even go ahead and put Houston, right? The city that we're targeting. So check that out. See how much better of a, of a review response that is versus just saying thank you. We have these various keywords here. We have our brand name, keyword, keyword, right? And then let's go ahead and click post, and there it is. And we want to do that with all of the reviews that we get, right? Make sure you're responding to them. Very important, guys. Um, and then the last thing that I would suggest is to begin building your location pages. Um, let me check this out. I did a location page for a client recently, and I believe they were already ranking pretty highly. Uh, let me see. So let's just do metal roofing better. All right, so here's a client right here. Um, so two, three, four, five, so fifth position, and this is in my account. It might be different if I go incognito, but you guys get the point. Basically, we created a location page for this client, another, another roofing client. Not only is this page ranking, but also the YouTube video that we created. And we named the name of the YouTube video for the exact keyword that we want to target. So this is the page right here. So we're targeting the city of Bel Air. Um, and then of course we're targeting metal and aluminum roofing. So if we check this out, it's literally just an exact replica of the home page, but we change it for the specific city that we want to target, right? 
Um, so you can check out the city name right there. Um, city again, right? And then of course we modify the content to be related to this city. Um, and not only that, but we went ahead and created a quick video, um, which is kind of just like a slideshow video. Um, but when you create these video guys and you embed them on your page, it's very powerful. So go ahead and name the page. I mean, name the video exactly what you want to rank for, optimize it and post it on the client's YouTube account, and then make sure you embed it on the actual page, on the location page, right? Um, and then we have, you know, some words about the city down here. We have some links to some resources in that specific city. We added some things to do here, linking out to these different various things to do. And then we also have the neighborhoods in that specific city, right? We link out to these different neighborhoods. Not only that, but we also link out to directions. So if I open that up, it's literally directions from that city to the clients, to the client's location, right? So you can see the city is right here. Then we embedded the map. Let me zoom out. Embedded this map. All you do is go to menu, share, and embed. Copy the HTML and paste it. Or you could just copy the link. That's kind of how I did it here. Um, and I just put it in this nice button here. And last but not least, we embedded an actual map of the city, which is right here. Um, and that's what we did. And we're already ranking on the first page. Um, I only, I think I published this page a few days ago, um, but, it, but it was ranking literally like the next day. So that's how powerful location pages can be because they can be, begin ranking instantly and you can start getting faster results for your clients. So I'll leave the link so you guys can check out these pages. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you learned something new. I'll see you in the next one.